some tech stuff. Promise to only take 20 of your minutes. Today we have the amazing Sandra Valls, and we had a little technical difficulty, but we do have Sandra on the phone, and we have a lovely picture of her, and I'm going to give her a call right now. I'm going to give her a call right now. We're going to give her a call. In. We're going to give her a call right now. <laughs> Here. Here we go. Is it on speaker? I, have, I don't see her number there. Oh, Travis. Sorry. Let's do this. Sandra, here we go. She wasn't in recents. <laughs> Live TV. Hello. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I'm great. I'm sad that I couldn't be there in person. Aw, but you know, we have a great picture of you, and we have a video. Do you want to play the video real quick, Trav? Yeah. Okay. We're going to play the video right now so that our people oh that God, are... What video? The one, um, it's, it's little snippets of uh, some of the songs that you sing. So we're going to give that a little play. Okay, and here we go. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. We got the beat. Sophisticated lady. Do it, do it, do it. From head to toe. Motel, motel, holiday in Watching you. Oh my gosh. So Sandra Valls is the host and the creator of a show called Playroom Karaoke and it's on every Saturday at 7 p.m. Central. And Sandra is a very good friend and a comedian as well and um, just a lovely person. The kind of person I can say, hey Sandra, I got some stuff going on and she will meet me anywhere to help me to discuss. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So um, Sandra, um, Tell us about Playroom Karaoke, how you started it, because I'll tell you, and I'll tell the people watching, that's what inspired me to do Cooking with Debbie, because I just saw that you took your skills and your talents and the friends you had around you and put this great show on that just raised everybody's spirit. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, my sister and I always liked to sing together, even when we were children. You know, we've always just, you know, sang songs and had fun, and, uh, we started out, well, she's like, well, we should just play some records. And they're like, a record player, because I also found her for a record player. And I'm like, let's go live and just play records. And then it was like, you know, I have a karaoke machine. I'm like, let's go live and do karaoke. <laughs> and let's just be fun. And then one thing led to another, and then we, we love to thrift. So before the pandemic hit, we were like in, at Goodwill, and we found these horn hats, which we were like, oh, we love them. I'm like, we should wear the hats. So we wore the hat, and then I'm like, we should do something. We should make it a thing. Like, every Saturday, people really like it. And so, yeah, and that's how it just came about, because we just have fun, and we play songs, and now we have a raffle. It's hilarious. We cleaned out our garage, because we cleaned out the garage, and we were going to, like, yard sale, and we were going to do Etsy and some cool things, and I'm like, look, we should just raffle them off. Absolutely. Oh, and yeah. So, yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh, and it's... And I love the hat with the horns that light up. And I know you were doing a giveaway and you couldn't find the horns that lit up. But did you find those horns at a thrift store as well? No, no. We are going to, uh, we raffled off uh, our very first horn hat last week. Uh, and a woman and her mother won. And so we are buying them from Amazon and just shipping them to her. Oh, that's how that works. The, you know, it's so much fun. So much fun. And I just love how you drag Connie right into the business. Like, come on, let's go. 
And um, and Michelle was on. Your friend Michelle was on, but this was before we all were safer Melissa. at home. Melissa. Yes. Melissa, so Melissa. Melissa. Melissa would come over, and we, you know, we hang out and sing. And she also loved to do karaoke and play records. Um, but then the the real quarantine hit, and we're like, oh, Melissa can't come over anymore. Oh. Oh, now Sandra, how do you know the song so well? I mean, you don't do you, you don't have lyrics in front of you, do you? Yes, actually, we have rigged it up to where now it's a karaoke out of my computer, and we have a big TV in front of us, and we we broadcast through my phone. Um, and some of the songs, you know, we I just know the lyrics because I'm a musician, and so yeah, a lot of them I know the lyrics too. But it helps to have them up on the screen. But we do practice. My sister and I were just practicing right now a couple of new songs and. You know, because we don't want to keep doing the same old stuff over and over. But we, hey, we enjoy the same old stuff over and over. I mean, who would have wanted to hear, you know, old yeah. time rock and roll over and over? Linda Ronstadt, I do. Of course. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's a challenge to find new music, or it's a challenge to learn new songs. That the now the viewers are being all like having requests, like, like <laughs> sing Rent. <laughs> well, sing Rent. Man, rent is not easy to <laughs> sing. <laughs> Muskrat Love. I was shocked when you found oh Muskrat, God, Muskrat Love. Love. Oh my God. You know, they sang that at the White House. And um, they said they got into the first uh, stanza and went, man, this is such a mistake. What are we doing Muskrat. singing this for the president? Muskrat yeah, Love. Muskrat. The things that people request to, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh my God. But, yeah. I have a blast. I can't sing. The, I, I can't carry a tune if it was in a bucket. And I have a blast watching you and singing along with you and reading the comments. And people in the comments section are actually becoming friends with each other and welcoming I each know. other. So much fun. Oh, my gosh, Sandra. So much fun. So that's um, called Playroom Karaoke. And you can find it on Facebook.com forward slash Sandra Valls, V-A-L-L-S. Raise your glass and raise your spirits. And that's every Saturday at 7 p.m. And we've got it up right there for you, for the viewers to see where you can go ahead and find Sandra. And you've got to join her. Join her by Saturday so you can be part of the party. So when I talk to we Sandra... Also have, uh, we also have... I just created a new Facebook, fat, like, a, like a page, like a like page, exclusively for uh, Playroom Karaoke with Sandra and Connie. Can you so, give me that address? Playroom Karaoke with Sandra and Connie. Playroom Karaoke with Sandra and Connie on Facebook. Playroom yeah. Karaoke, are you putting it on there? I will. Yeah, we're going to put it up there for everybody because it really is so much fun. So much fun. Thank and you. I don't know how you play the music, sing, make the comments, tell Connie to hit the next record. I, I don't know how you do it. English, Spanish, you are a talent. It's fun. It's fun. Um, for you hours. fun. They go on for hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, we have to. We we used to go from seven to ten, and then the last few times they're like seven to eleven. We just go on and on. And my sister's like, "Look, we have to cut it up at ten because that's a lot of singing." And then on Sunday, we're so exhausted, but we have fun. Oh my gosh, we have fun too, just watching you. We have a ball, and I and I've been talking about this um, playroom karaoke for since you've been doing it since I found it. I and know. I it's so love sweet. It. Oh, I love it. Um, and when I talked to Sandra, Sandra said, I said, what are some of your favorites? She said, tacos, rice, and beans. Um, <laughs> right. You know, the number three plate in any Mexican restaurant. And you know what she said, too? She said she liked a good mashed potato. And, yes. Right? It's just the most, people are really looking for comfort food right now. And um, she also said Indian food. Well, I took two of the dishes that you liked and I mashed them together. Um, so oh. I went with a good mash. She did a monster mash. The monster mash. Um, I am doing, Sandra, a, a potato taco. Tacos de papas. Have you had that before? No. So what this is is Mexican soul food. You know, I remember when I was a single mom and I had two kids and I would make a roast on Sunday. And then I would take that thing all the way down to like taquitos and, and fideo. And I remember my son mm. saying, oh, I hope we're poor forever. Because it was just that, <laughs> it's that, you know, it's that food that you're trying to stretch with a lot of flavor, a lot of fats, a lot of tortillas. Um, 
you know, so this is what you do with the leftover mashed potato. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say my goodbye to you and I'm gonna go ahead and cook this. It is a taco de papas and it is delicious. So um, if you go ahead and hang up and go on your Facebook, you can watch right now and, and uh, see how we make it. And this is dedicated to you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank Thanks you for love. talking to me. No, it was a Much pleasure. The hubs. We'll see you Saturday. Bye. Bye-bye. So that was my good friend, Sandra, and I love that she said that she liked a good mashed potato. A good mashed potato. Everybody is looking for these um, stick to your ribs, comfort food, uh, and, and you know, the, the pastas, the homemade bread, uh, mashed potatoes. And here's the, the situation with potatoes I think that most of us have. You make a great mashed potato. And Sandra, I made these with regular russet potatoes. I went ahead and boiled my potatoes. Um, cut them up first, peeled them, cut them up, boiled them with uh, salt in the water, and then I drained the water, and then I put in three-fourths of a stick of butter. Yes, I did. I put in three-fourths of a stick of butter and um, salt, pepper, and evaporated milk. The reason I use evaporated milk in a can is because if you take cold milk out of your refrigerator and put it in your potatoes while they're hot, it'll curdle and it'll spoil all your potatoes. Can you imagine that happen to you right before a big dinner like Thanksgiving or Easter? So I use the evaporated milk and I've got a lot of evaporated milk in my refrigerator and I think I'm going to make fudge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do with evaporated milk. So this is a good mashed potato, Sandra. We started with the mashed potato. And the other one of her favorites was a taco. So we're going to do tacos de papas, which is a potato taco. And it is uh, not for the timid. It is uh, something that after you eat it, you're going to have to go take a good, strong walk around the block. And because uh, it is, it's very flavorful. Can we leave it at that? It's very flavorful. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I have my leftover mashed potatoes. No reason to throw these out. I know that it's hard the next day, like what am I gonna do with leftover mashed potatoes? And if you do something creative, let me know what you do with your mashed potatoes. I know some people make pancakes. Um, if you do something like that, please let me know. Um, are there, is there anybody in comments? Check it out. Let's check the comments. You check the comments. I've got corn tortillas right here. I've got like six of them. I'm going to put them in the microwave and soften those up for like maybe 15 seconds. Be creative. Thanks everybody for inviting us into your house. We really appreciate it. I really look forward to spending my Tuesdays and Thursdays with you. And I'm so excited that the time change hasn't hurt some of you. In fact, we've had new viewers. And thank you for those of you on uh, Giving Tuesday who joined us and we made uh, a charred tomatillo salad and enchiladas and about four people donated to Maximum Hope that day. So thank you so much for your generosity. Um, Let's see. Hi, Monica. How are you? Oh, we've got Dave Wilcox down the street watching. I love when my families join in um, and friends. Um, Sandra, you love the dress? $18.99 on Amazon. What? Got to share that. Um, uh, oh, and Flora said, bring them a camera. I will. All right. So, oh, my mom is watching. What? My mom is watching. Cool hi, that. mom. Come say hi to your mother-in-law. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to make these um, uh, tacos de papas. I've got my, my, um, and you people that just joined, you know what, can you get these in for like another five minutes, five seconds. And for you people that joined in and you heard Sandra, she has a wonderful party on uh, Saturday night on her Facebook and it's so much fun. She's singing songs that we've danced to, that we've roller skated to, that we sang while we're driving to the beach. And it's just, it's just such a fun, fun, inspirational um, uh, party. And she really encouraged me, like I said, to do what I do and to tap into my talents and to bring some levity and some fun and some pantry pulls and freezer finds because I know that things can be hard to get to the grocery store. So like I said, this is all something that's probably in your pantry. Hey, if you have mashed potatoes, the instant kind, I'm not gonna tell. Why would I tell on you? Doctor those things up and use that. I also fried up a little bit of chorizo 
Because chorizo and papas, oh my gosh, that goes together like, mm, like, mm. Um, all right, so. Got the oil on. You got the oil on. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is I'm taking my corn tortilla here. I'm so excited my mom is watching. I'm so happy. Mom, we made chicken enchiladas just the way that you taught me. Travis tore the tortillas, Mom. Hey. <laughs> uh, and we've made stir-fried rice. And that's another dish that you can make with whatever's left over if you have some rice. In fact, the more left over, the better. Um, I, I'm going to do a chorizo and papas. Can you see? that? Mm -hmm. I just put that in there like that. Gonna put that in like that, fold it over, put a little toothpick, and then I'm gonna make, cause we can fit two in that pan, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more here. And now's the time to look in your pantry and see what you can use in your pantry. Um, you know, you can put a little cumin. Cumin is something that a lot of Mexican cooks use. Um, so you can even sprinkle this with cumin. I'm gonna do one plain uh, taco with the the just the uh, potatoes and I have one with chorizo. I'm going to hand it off to my sous chef over here. There we go. And he's going to fry those. Be careful. Everybody, you know what you have to yell to Travis, right? Use the potholders. Why <laughs> does he forget the potholders every time? I tell him too. Don't burn yourself. We can't afford to go to the emergency right now. I mean, we can't afford to go to the emergency room right now, but who wants to, right? Mm. You just lay these um, in here and let them fry? Yes, you just lay those in there and let it. Oh, Sandra said her mouth is watering. Um, David Castillo, welcome. Um, let's see. Ronnie Marie Malone, thank you for welcoming us, Ronnie, to your home. Um, I'm so excited my mom is watching. I really am. Um, let's see. So we're getting the... Oh. Sammy Luevano is watching. You have to come on my show, Sammy. You're an amazing cook. Amazing. He makes beautiful dishes. They're just gorgeous and mouth-watering. Oh, I'll make another one. So I don't know if, uh, if some of you joined late. You heard me tell the story about when I was a single mom before I met Travis. And I had two kids. And we, you know, it was tough being a single mom. And I would buy a roast, I would cook that sucker on Sunday, and then I would turn it into everything, all the way down to taquitos and fideo. And my son was eating his taquitos and fideo, and he goes, man, I hope we're poor forever. Well, you don't have to be poor to have, uh, you don't have to be poor to enjoy uh, food like this. Soul food. Soul food. Um, How long am I? Flora said she's scared to fry. That's why Travis does the frying in my house because I'm scared. How long till they're brown? Till they look? Oh, that's good, Trav. Well, the, I flipped that one over. I think it. Maybe Trav, it, do you want me to put some cumin in one of these? Yes. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try a little cumin. By and, the way, they can see the, the frying. Okay, part. and the chorizo is uh, different than the round, the the cylinder, the sausage type chorizo. I couldn't find that at Sprout, so I found it in a brick. So it is a little spicier. I think a little will go a long way. So there we go. And then you just, it's so funny because I was looking for a nice platter to put the fried tacos on. I go, hey, my mom used to just use a pie plate. Remember mommy, you just used to use a pie plate, a pie tin with some, um, some paper towels underneath to absorb. So that's what I'm using. Um, so Mother's Day is Sunday. Don't forget. That Mother's Day is this Sunday, and uh, we don't have teachers at school sending your kids home with cute little projects or poems. So, dads, you're up. Get on it. You got four days to think of something fabulous to do. And it doesn't even have to be real fabulous. You know, moms, we're happy with anything. Like, oh, you made me a drawing. I love it. I keep it forever. Thank you so much. We don't care. Put some paint on a kid's hand, slap it on a sweatshirt. Oh, you you know, we don't care. We don't care. So um, as long as it came from the kids. Um, I'm going to move this aside. And I have some things to go on my tacos. I have avocado. You might have seen that we've been using a lot of avocado in our cooking. And it's because we have an amazing avocado tree. 
I have tomatoes here. I have some shredded red cabbage, and I have some cilantro. And look how pretty that is all together. Isn't it pretty? So beautiful. You can do this with pico de gallo. The reason I stayed away from pico de gallo is because I have the chorizo and the cumin, and that's already real spicy. So you don't want to surprise your mouth with too many fabulous flavors, right? You want to be able to enjoy the orchestra. How's it going over there? Good. Oh, my mom said she remembers putting it in the uh, in the little um, pie plate. I was talking to somebody today, or yesterday, my friend Fabian, and we are just talking about learning from our moms and how we cook. And this woman, she, she said her mom took a roasting pan, and she had a roast, and she cut off part of the roast, one end of the roast, and then she cooked the roast in the roasting pan and served it, and that's how, how they ate it. So when the woman grew up and became a mother and a cook herself, she did the same for her family. She would get a roast, she would cut off the ends, and she would put it in the in the roasting pan. And finally one day she asked her mom, Mom, why did you always cut the end off of the roast? And her mom said, because I that was the only pan I had that fit. It's funny, we just do things the way our moms told us, right? So, um, I'm going to pull these out, okay? Yeah. Oh, those are good. Oh, my God. It smells so good. He's my smell camera. Mm. So, you guys, seriously, you have to go see Sandra on her on her karaoke party. She and her sister and you are so fun. And you know what? They harmonize beautifully. They have those voices that are familial, and they just harmonize so beautifully. And Sandra has uh, some amazing shows that she does here in LA, and those will come back. And she is fabulous. She's fabulous uh, as a singer and as a performer. And you'll have fun with her at her parties. Like she said, there's seven, uh, from, from seven to 10, somebody tried to talk her into going to 11, which is a, but you don't realize it because you're having so much fun. Oh, Travis, you enjoying that already? All right. Just showing up. Be careful, that's really hot. Okay, I need another paper towel. I don't know why I know. Did you not use a pot holder? I, I have the pot holder right here. So we're going to blot these. And again, these are definitely, if you're watching your figure, if you, you know, your girlish figure, these are things that you uh, enjoy now and again. So. Travis, do you remember which is which, or do we have to open them up? The ones on the bottom are the first two that went in. Okay, so do you want one with chorizo? You want one with potato? Chorizo, I want the chorizo. Absolutely, here we go. Yes, and that chorizo is a little spicy. Yeah. But I feel like the potato is probably going to cut that a little bit. So, and Travis, how's that? Yummy. Wow. Okay, you can put avocado, you can put tomato, you can put uh, cabbage. Oh, thanks. Let's do the avocado. Okay. Some avocado in there. And uh, let's go, just a big hunk of avocado. How about that? That's it? No cilantro? Oh, mom, no. after 26 years, Travis told me he doesn't like cilantro. Yeah. I was gonna put some hot sauce on there too, but that chorizo, that chorizo is really, is really it's hot. It's really spicy, so I'm gonna wait. But my daughter got me some amazing, um, this is the Palo Alto Firefighters sauce. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. Let's let's show on this camera. That's what Sandra quick. just said. Hot sauce. Yeah, this sauce right here is amazing, and um, all the proceeds go to the firefighters fund there in Palo Alto. But it is really good. I'm gonna wait until I taste the chorizo first. So those of you that joined late, Sandra said that one of her favorites was a good mashed potato. Just a good mashed potato. And a lot of times we have leftover mashed potatoes and we don't know what to do with it. It kind of doesn't heat up the same for us the very next day. So this is just taking your mashed potato, you put it in the fridge when you're, um, oh, let me go back to how I cooked it. Big russet potatoes, those are the ones that work for me. Not the Yukon, not the red, they just, I don't know, I love the texture of a good russet potato. You wash them, you peel them, you cube them, you put them in cold water with salt, you bring that to a boil, you let your potatoes get nice and tender. Then I put the cover on after I turn off the fire and I let it just sit there and everybody gets along. Everybody just swims and gets along in the pot. And then I drain the potato water Mm. 
Yeah? Delicious. Good. And the chorizo is not real hot because of the avocado and the right. potato. Right. Do you want to try the one with some cumin? Do I want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. Um, so this doesn't have chorizo. So, and then you just get rid of the potato water. And then I use evaporated canned milk in a can. And the reason I do that is because you can add it at any point to your potatoes. New cooks, new cooks out there, if you put a cold milk into your hot potatoes, your milk will curdle and will ruin all of your potatoes. So evaporated milk, you can put it in at any time you like, and I use three quarters of a date of a, three quarters of a stick of butter. Oh, this is a hard stopper dish right here. In case you didn't hear three quarters of a stick of butter. <clears throat> Make sure before you bite into these tacos, just as a precautionary measure, you want to take out that toothpick because that's not very fun to bite into. Oh, um, we have, um, Evie it's says that she delicious. loves, Evie says she loves, <laughs> Evie says that she loves mm. cilantro, Travis. Very I good. do too, Evie. Tacos are my number one food. Yes, they are. We are having Taco Thursday on a pandemic caused by something called Corona. What? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Evie says that you can add a little bit of milk and butter and heat it in the stove or microwave for your potatoes. That's good to know that it revives it. All right, so that is what's for dinner tonight. Thank you for spending 20 plus minutes for, with us. We really appreciate it. We love your comments. Thank you for Sandra Valls for joining us today. She's, she, you, seriously, seriously. Let's get on our 80s clothes and visit Sandra and her sister Connie and party with her. There's raffles, there's music. You will be surprised how many songs you have loved that you have forgotten about. So, um, one last couple of things. Um, please check us out on our cooking, at Cooking with Debbie Instagram page. A lot of extra clips, bonus episodes we're putting up there. Um, Debbie puts together all the recipes for the stuff that she cooks. We take photos and put photos. So there's a lot of bonus content there. In addition to that, we post these episodes there. So if you want to go back and watch it, and we post these episodes and the bonus stuff to our YouTube page, which is just Debbie's at Mommy Comic on YouTube. Like that. You make me look so professional. Ah. Ah. Okay, yeah. ready for the song? You guys know the song now. Go ahead and sing it with us. Come on, baby.